Those are the men, aren't they? What men? You have to tell me about it now. We were just supposed to look for supplies. Well, by the third day, we hadn't found anything, and uh, Nickerson was beginning to get edgy. So we get to this village. It was marked friendly on the map. But Nickerson decided to get everybody out and search the huts for arms. So we lined them up while he and Tony looked the place over. They thought we were going to shoot them all. And I think Nickerson almost did. He was so angry about not finding anything. Well, in the last hut, a girl was hiding. Nickerson pretended he thought she was a VC. And he told one of the old men in the village that we were going to take her along as a hostage. What did she look like? She was young. 15 or 16, pretty. I guess that's why she was hiding. That's, that's what her mother said at the court martial. A couple of miles up the road, Nickerson took her into the tall grass. The sound she made was. After a while, it was like, uh, it was like Mac down there. It was just, just whining. And then uh, Riley went next, and then Josephson, and Tony. And then they were waiting for me to do it. Well, I couldn't move. I mean, it didn't take any thought, any bravery. I, I just couldn't walk. Nickerson, he looked at me for a long time. You know the way he does, he just looks at you. He had a rifle in his hands. Then he handed the rifle to Josephson. He jerked his thumb towards the grass and... And you turned them in. When we got back to camp, No, it was too late. I, I should have stopped them. What's the point of punishing them afterwards? People who are criminals have to be punished. Look, the Viet Cong do exactly the same thing. Everybody does. Every day. Every, no. Everywhere. Why blame these guys? They were my friends. They were my buddies. The